What's up guys, Cordy here, and I am back for episode number 19 of this Let's Play Terraria Ranger playthrough, and I did what I said I was going to do, I went mining off screen, and I got a few things, I got a bunch of souls of night, I got titanium, I got orichalcum, and something I realized while mining was that titanium is way too hard to get, so instead we're going to make orichalcum armor right about now, and if it'll pop back up, where'd it go? We are also going to make this thing called a key of night because there's a thing we can do that involves those. So let's just go ahead and make our orichalcum armor because that is really good. We want to make the orichalcum helmet because each different headpiece has its own specific uh, stat bonuses. So we want to make this one. And we have enough for at least one piece of everything else, but whatever. Uh, but orichalcum, that boosts our defense to 32. And I'm going to take off the pirate stuff so you can see what it looks like. Uh, take off the dyes as well. It is pink armor that looks pink. I don't like the look of it personally, except for the helmet. So, yeah, that's the only problem I have. Uh, okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to take this ice chest that I have, and we are going to put it down way over, way over here. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm going to summon what's sort of a mini boss, and I need, want to have my Uzi selected for this. Okay, all you need to do is put the key of night in the chest, and then walk away. And then the Crimson Mimic will spawn. And those pink things flying by is not an attack by the Crimson Mimic. That is actually the set bonus for Orichalcum Armor, which makes it super good. Actually, wait. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing Expert Mode a lot recently, and I'm used to whenever you shoot them, your projectiles get reflected back at you. But uh, these things aren't that difficult. They have 3,500 health. Try not to get hit by them, because they do a lot of damage. And we even got the item I was trying to get. This is a dark pistol. Now, the dark pistol... Oh, and greater potions, but meh. The dark pistol is an insanely good ranged weapon. Uh, I apparently don't <laughs> have any of this crap. Uh, okay, I'm going to get out of this dark pistol and this ichor, and we are going to make some Iker darts for the dart pistol. Now, <laughs> you will be surprised at how good this dart pistol actually is. So, yeah, there we go. I have... Mm, not as much as I'd like to have, but eh, it's still a good amount. Um, but yeah, the Crimson Mimics don't drop as much money as normal Mimics, which I find completely illogical. Um, but you know what? Whatever works, game. So the dart pistol, with Iker dart specifically, when shot will shoot once, and then the one shot will split into like three or four more. And as long before it splits, uh, the shot will pierce infinitely. So that's always a good thing. Now, there is another type of m mimic that I want to fight. Uh, now we have this armor, our weapon damage has probably gone up quite a bit, but you may think that this dart pistol, well, it's not the best thing ever, it does less damage than the Uzi, for God's sakes, uh, but trust me, it is better than the Uzi. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know the Uzi is really good, but it's not something we'll be able to use against, like, a boss or anything. Also, speaking of bosses, what do you say we take one on right now? Because I'm feeling confident right now. So, uh, let me find the summoner, because I know it's in one of these chests. There it is. Okay, what do you say we take on the twins? Now, I'm definitely not 100% prepared for this, but you know what? I'm confident. So, you know... Let's just go. No buffs. We're just going to test the waters for what's to come. Alright, so I'm going to use the dart pistol mainly. Now you want to focus... Uh, this is the twins. 
you want to, f uh, aka retinazer and spasmatism, aka retinazer is cooler. Uh, <laughs> so you'll want to focus down spasmatism because he by far does the more more damage of the two. Uh, I'm definitely underprepared. But as you can see, the dart pistol is making very quick work of these two. Uh, like, retinazer, spasmatism's about halfway done already. So, yeah, he's on 10,000 health. Speaking of which, once he gets down to 9,000, he will go into phase two. Uh, phase two for spasmatism is dangerous, so just be aware of that. I'm gonna use Uzi for his phase two, actually. Oh, this is not a good spot. Maybe I should have actually prepared. Don't start that. Okay, we need to kill spasmatism. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around, because it's good to do that in this fight. Now you wanna keep like jumping up and down so that spasmatism has trouble charging at you directly, and that way you won't have too much trouble dealing with it. Speaking of which, this is... Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect to, wi to win that, because I didn't even have an arena set up. But, you know, that's hard mode for you. It's not, it's not actually that bad. Uh, now, there are a few things we can do <laughs> to make sure that doesn't happen again. We had plenty of time left in the night. So, we need to make some platforms. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Alright, now I'm just gonna place these platforms out this way. And yeah, that'll be our battle arena. So, this might take a little while, so why don't we talk about a thing quick. Um, I didn't get an ice feather from the ice golems that we killed earlier, so I can't get frost wings. Now, frost wings are insanely good, because they're probably the best wings you can get pre-plant. Plant, pep, hep, hep. Uh, what the heck? Uh, okay, I guess the arena's gonna stop here, because there's a tree there. But that should be enough space anyway, so let's just go with it. Uh, yeah, before a specific boss, it is probably the best wings you can get. Um, I really wish I had more mud, because then I'd be able to expand the mushroom biome. I just had an idea. Where's my platinum axe? Because I honestly lost it. Uh. Hello? There we go. Oh yeah, I still have that gold bird, don't I? I never have actually did anything with that thing. Um. I still have a lot of this stuff that I earlier. I think about it. I haven't sold too much. Where's the plat? Might not have an axe? What the heck? Um. What? Why do I not have one of them? Here, I'll just make a Oracalcum one. Uh, because <laughs> we have some extra Oracalcum. Now, I don't normally make any other items with this stuff, but whatever. Heavy? That doesn't matter. I want to test to see if mushrooms count as blocks in the mushroom biome, because that would make sense. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, now we're basically just building a house out of these mushrooms, because why not? Yeah. Oops, that was not the right spot to do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, while we're doing this, let's, let's talk about a thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have much to talk about while I'm doing this, so I am unprepared, but whatever. Uh, And it's daytime. 
oh well. There we go, there we go, house. Okay, now I need walls and furniture. Wait, platform. Platform? No, uh, the thing. Two doors, chair. Let's make two chairs. I'm gonna make a candle, and I'm gonna make a table. Yeah, so we're basically building a house for what's probably the most important ranged NPC in the entire game. Uh, the truffle. And this must count as mushrooms because the mushroom music just came back. So uh, now I need a few walls. Make a mushroom bath up. That should be enough. Yeah. So. Come on. There we go. Now, is this house suitable? This housing is suitable. I didn't ever show the housing query on a video before, but eh, just showed it now. So, now I'm going to recraft all these mushrooms and bin those two walls because what am I honestly going to do with them? Uh, quick stack everything. Come on. That chest is full. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we have a few things we could do. Okay, now what's the most obvious thing to do is see the floating island? Well, uh, we should go up there. <laughs> because, uh, reasons. Uh, but yeah, we need to farm for some stuff. And I'm probably close to having to end the video. Um,. Oh well. We'll keep going anyways. We're just going to sit up here. I think there's an easier way for me to do this. Uh, I need gold or platinum. I think I only need one. Uh, where is my anvil? There we go, platinum candle. And now... We take our crystal ball and we put it, uh, not there because there's no space there. Um, I need to find. Oh, wait, there's water on that island, is there? Yeah, we take the crystal ball and we go up to the floating island and then we place it down next to a pool of water. I still love this marrow, I can't help it. Oh, oh, no, not deep enough water. There we go, water candle. So the water candle, when near it, it increases enemy spawn rate, and that doesn't sound like a good thing, but when you're farming for, like, a drop, it is very, very useful. So, yeah, I'm going to put it here, because that way it's always in it. There we go. <laughs> harpies. Okay, I never showed harpies. They have 100 health. Uh, but that's not what I'm trying to go for. And I should really get the dryad out of here because she is not helping. Okay, where's my house? What the heck? There we go. Dryad, move there. Because that way you're not on the sky island. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so now we go back up to the Sky Island and we wait for a mini-boss to spawn. Uh, the Crimson Mimic is a mini-boss. Um, there's also a Hallowed version, so, and the Hallowed version debatably, debatably, drops a better, uh, better item, but I'm not too worried about it, so. Wait. Wow. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with the dryad being here. That wasn't a smart idea. Come on. Q. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, game. I know you actually like me, so hurry up. I mean, you only gave me a marrow and an Uzi for whatever reason. Uh. Yeah. So I might cut until I get the thing to appear, but. Actually, what could we do while we're waiting? We could go back. Also, that's where I died. Uh, we could go to the Hallow Underground uh, and farm for some souls there, so we can probably make a key of light in order to summon a Hallowed Mimic. And that way, we could potentially get one of the best drops ever. So, uh, yeah. And that would uh, change what order we were going to fight the boss, the mechanical bosses. That's what the trio of bosses, when you first begin hard mode, is called. Because, let's face it, hard mode is basically just farming and then fighting bosses. Uh, unlike normal mode, which actually has some progression to it. You have to go to different biomes and such. Anglerfish, get out of my face. I don't even like you. Um, so, do I even have the underground hallow anywhere? I don't know. I don't think I do. But I do have it in the underworld. So, that's a predicament. Um, but I'm probably going to uh, end this video here, and we'll come back... Uh, with me farming in the hallow for souls of light. Uh, what is... Green jellyfish, get away. Bat, get away. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, and then we're gonna come back in... I don't know how I broke that pot, probably with the Uh, we're gonna come back, and we're gonna be farming in the hallow for some souls. So, yeah. Uh, until then, I guess. My. Oh, uh, or that could happen. Uh, let me check that out first, because probably should do that. Uh, this is the truffle. Now, the truffle. Again, most important ranged. Uh. Most important ranged ally doesn't appear to sell anything useful now, but he does have this dark blue solution, and it says used by the contaminator. That will be important for later, but not right now. Uh, I really want to buy this. I'm going to buy it. Can I put it in the light pet slot? No, that's unfortunate. Uh, either way, uh, now we have a baby truffle. Yeah. So anyways, now in the episode, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.